What's up fans? This is Mark Dane with your St. Vincent and the Grenadines top batsmen from 1960 to current. So let's get right into the nitty gritty. My first on the list is Hiran Shallow, played 13 first class matches, 382 runs, best of 63. And the reason why I choose him, besides his first class stats as a local club cricketer, He's a runs machine. He played cricket in England, Canada, the USA, and everywhere this man goes, this man's called centuries. Currently, he has up to 183 centuries in club cricket. Uh, high score of 289 in 2009 in England league cricket. Second on my list is Rumel Currency. 71 first class matches. 2,866 runs, best of 121, 15 half centuries, 36 late A matches, 987 runs, best of 102. And reason why I'm choosing currency, currency was a solid batsman, more in the role of a Jeffrey Boycott accumulator, um, batted for long periods. And that's one of the reasons why I have him in my St. Vincent and Grenadines top batsman. Next on the list is Sam Isles. He only played one first class match for Windward Islands. Scored 29 runs, best of 28. And you would say a man who scored just, who just played one first class match and just scored 29 runs. How could you have him on the list? But he was in the mold of a, a Carl Hooper for St. Vincent and the Grenadines back in those days in the 70s. Very elegant, good batsman, um, easy in the eye, you know, had all the shots. And, well-rounded but he migrated to the USA as a youngster. Next on my list is Aviva Butte. Three matches for Windward Islands, 40 runs, best of 23. And again you would say a man score 40 runs, how could he make a top a top batting list? But during Inter-Island for St. Vincent and the Grenadines he contributed very well. Scored over three centuries uh, I was looking at the stats and I, I saw in the early 70s, from 1970 to 73, he had three centuries. A good batsman. I saw him play at club level, played some cricket in England. A tall, lanky batsman, wristy, stroke player, you know, um, one of St. Vincent's best. Next on my list is Douglas Haynes. Four first class matches, 52 runs, best of 36. And again, you'll see four first class matches. Why would you choose a guy with four first class matches? Well, back in the 70s, they used to call him Poke Up. Douglas Haynes was one of the best batsmen uh, against fast bowling in, in the islands and inter-island competition. Uh, produced for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, unfortunately, his first class career came to an abrupt end. He got hit in his head by a bouncer for a boat from a guy in Jamaica fast bowler named Lawson. And that's ended his career. But Douglas Haynes was one of St. Vincent's finest batsmen. Next on my list is Monty Warner. Only played two first class matches, 93 runs, best of 45. Seven listed matches, 129 runs, best of 29. And again, you'd say a guy who only played two first class matches. But Monty Warner was an explosive batsman, aggressive, you know, fight, fought fire with fire against the fast bowlers, you know, had all the shots, you know. Um, he was just a bit temperamental, but in St. Vincent local cricket, he always stood up to the fast bowlers, Winston Davis, Joseph Jack, you know, Sidney Murphy, all of the Heat Rocks bowlers from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But back in the day, Winwood Leewards, the Leeward Islands batsmen were the ones that choo got shoes for Combine Islands, you know, and just playing two matches a year like trial matches, it never really made a big impression to get in this squad. Next on my list is Albert Tishira, a left-handed batsman from Canaan, elegant batsman. When you see him, you see Alvin Kalichuran batting. Uh, a lovely batsman, good drive off the ball, cuts, hooks, pulls, you know, good foot movements, good batsmanship. That was Albert Tishira. Uh, played 14 first class matches, 345 runs, best of 48. 10 listed matches for USA, 175 runs, best of 44. Not out. He scored 118 
versus West Indies in Florida 1993. So that, that alone speaks volume for its him for itself. All right, so let's get into more batsmen. Next on my list is Linton Lewis, 32 first class matches, 1238 runs, best of 128, two centuries, 18 listed matches, 285 runs, best of 80, known as Blogo. You know, batsman had a lot of mannerisms before the bowler, the bowler would be at the top of his mark and before the bowler started to approach, he would touch his helmets, touch his backside, touch the bales, touch his chest. You know, that's, that was the way how he, he went about his business. Played for Ammonford in Glamorgan County in the Glamorgan League. A top class batsman, elegant again. You know, most of these St. Vincent batsmen were batsmen who knew about batting, had good batsmanship, good foot, good feet movement, you know, was a real deal. But Winwood Islands never really played too many matches back in those days, so the, the exposure was very limited. Next on my list is Carlville Brown, 15 first class matches, 416 runs, best of 60, uh, played for Combine Islands. Back in the day, the top score of 60, he got dropped the next match in walks Viv Richards, and that was the end of Colville Brown. But in local cricket, in St. Vincent cricket, in the early 1971 to early 80s, from 1971 to early 80s, Colville Brown was a top-class batsman in St. Vincent cricket, both in the club level and both for St. Vincent and the Hunter Danes, but migrated to USA, after it didn't really have got a lot of opportunities to play again for Combine Islands. Next on my list is Danny Joseph, 68 first class matches, 3,676 runs, best of 149, five centuries, 56 list in matches, best of 153, two list in centuries, played club cricket in England, a brutal strike of the ball, he hit the ball extremely hard back in the day. Um, Danny Joseph was the kind of batsman that if he bowled my half volley the first ball of the match, it was six runs out of the ground. You know, it's a pity he didn't really get to play with West Indies. Played for the President's eleven, played for West Indies A team, but didn't really made it to the the original West Indies team to wear that maroon cap. But again, great contribution to Winwood Islands and St. Vincent and West Indies cricket, Danny Joseph. Next on my list is Lance John, 56 first class matches, 3,012 runs, best of 137, average of 30.42, three centuries, 20 half centuries. Now this is a batsman who loved occupying the crease and spending a lot of time in the, at the crease, Lance John, who would bat and bat and bat, never loved to give away his wickets. If he out, he would, they say he would even go in the bathroom and cry. You know, Lance John made a century versus Australia towing team and 80 plus in the second innings as well. Uh, a very good batsman, more in the role of a uh, Jeffrey Boycott, left-handed, tall, you know, the, his favorite cut was shot was a cut shot or a slash outside the off stump, you know, played, he was a good batsman against fast bowling. I saw him bat against Malcolm Marshall, Patrick Patterson, Michael Holden, Courtney Walsh, Bernard Julian and, and lots more. That's why I name Lance John as one of my St. Vincent and the Grenadines best batsmen. So let's get right into the nitty gritty. My next on my list is Wilfred Slack, the man from Chumaka Village, my village. Played his cricket in England. Played three test matches for England, 81 runs, best of 52. 237 first class matches, 13,950 runs, Best of 248 not out, 183 list in matches, 4,639 runs, best of 122, 25 first class centuries, three list in centuries. Died January 15th, 1989 of a heart attack. You know, he used to have some problems while batting in the nets, blocking out or fainting. You know, Wilfred Slack goes down as St. Vincent and the Grenadines finest batsman with the most runs in first class cricket, over 13,000 runs in first class cricket. Hats off to Wilfred Slack, the man from Chumaka Village. You know, he used to live next to my Aunt Eno Anthony and my uncle Leo Anthony. You know, when he went down to the 
Chumaka Secondary School, or they call it TOS. You know, just a little information there. Next on my list is Sunil Ambris, currently playing for Windward Island, still play first class cricket, six test matches, 166 runs, best of 43, 15 ODIs, 473 runs, best of 148, 70 first class matches, 3,718 runs, best of 231, eight first class century. I wouldn't really wanna elaborate right now because he's still a first class batsman and playing it straight for Windward Islands, but one of St. Vincent finest, Sonil Ambrose. And just a side note, from this list of batsmen, three batsmen are from the same family or related. Albert Teixeira, Sonil Ambris, Rumel Currency, all family. Just a side note. Next on my list is Charles Olivier, born July 20th, 1876. One of the great pioneers of Caribbean cricket, you know, played his cricket in Trinidad and Tobago. He toured, West, he toured England with the West Indies team 1900. Um, those matches wasn't considered first class matches back, do, back in those days. Uh, on that tour he scored 883 runs, best of 159 versus Leicestershire. 114 first class matches, 4830 runs and three centuries. Charles Oliver, one of the great batsmen from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But he had to go to Trinidad to play cricket because back in those days, uh, the smaller islands wasn't really integrated into West Indies cricket. And last but not least, Alfie Roberts. One test match, 28 runs, seven first class matches, 153 runs, best of 45. Was awarded a scholarship to Queen's Royal College in Trinidad. And during that period, he was selected for West Indies uh, team to tour New Zealand 1955. All right, this is Mark O'Dane with your St. Vincent and the Grenadines top batsmen. Also, I'd like to add a couple names that dominate for, for local cricket in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Played for St. Vincent as well. Um, Clarence Wiley. Score a couple centuries for St. Vincent, a man loved to bat and goes by the nickname of Food. Gosnell Coupet as well, uh, from Kialakwa, played for Packers. Um, he was a, a batsman who loved to bat. These two batsmen, a lot of times in St. Vincent, season after season, would have the most runs in local domestic cricket. Another good mention is Tommy King, a guy from Belay, a good batsman and Rogers from Georgetown uh, was a very good batsman as well. And last but not least, Adrian John. Easy on the eye batsman, went to St. Vincent Grammar School, I played school cricket, he played for St. Vincent U team and the Windward Islands U team back in 1981, 82, 83. All right, this is Mark O'Dane saying thanks for watching, God bless and bye for now.